The search generator SEG, technology, as applied to the commercial market, had been previously developed to the point where a few prototype SEG generators were made and used for elect electricity generation and motion. Commercial interest at that time focused on the SEG's transport potential and, under commercial pressure to deliver a fully functional system, the original generators were used and lost in a series of vehicular propulsion experiments and demonstrations. Funding was insufficient to continue with the manufacture of the required larger-scale pressurized cabin machines resulting in the termination of the project at that time. Although all the operating principles, precise proportions and weights of the required materials are known for three of the four required operating materials, the precise data of the original magnetic layer is uncertain. The objective of the current R&D program is to re-establish the original magnetic layer using modern and more efficient materials. Originally, the layered materials were constructed and magnetized by the now-defunct Midlands Electricity Board under the direction of John Searle. Modern magnetic materials have advanced considerably and old ones discontinued, so a series of tests need to be conducted to establish the optimum materials and processes, these tests need to comply with the working criteria required and must lead to a cost-effective manufacturing process. In recent times SISRC has been re-establishing the original research. Due to the very limited funding that has been available, only a partially functioning demonstration prototype of the SEG principles has been possible. This prototype consists of the innermost of the three compositings required and several rollers. Technical Description Physically the Searle Effect Generator SEG, consists of three concentric rings each made of a composite of four different materials which are also concentrically attached to each other. The three rings are fixed to rotate around them, are rollers typically 10 on the first ring, 25 on the next, and 35 on the outer ring. Surrounding the rollers on the outer ring are coils which are connected in various configurations to supply either AC or DC current at a variety of voltages. Multiple magnetic poles are imprinted on the rings and rollers to form frictionless magnetic bearings. These also arrange the static charge into opposing charge clusters which cause the rollers to rotate around the circumference of the ring.